Hi, 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 everyone. Anthony Fantano here, internet's busiest music nerd. Question, comment, thing. If you visit a lot of blogs, read music magazines, or read essays or books on music, or visit music forums, I'm sure you've run across some people saying a certain genre was dead. Real hip-hop is dead, punk is dead, rock is dead, disco's dead, and maybe you yourself have advanced this idea or thought, hey, you know what? That person, that person saying that genre is dead, who I'm noticing right now, he is right. Or she. And saying something is dead is really, honestly, seriously, no joke, becoming my <laughs> least favorite thing to hear when it comes to people's talking about music. Because I think most people say it just to be provocative or feel like their smirt kind of stir up controversy and, and push the idea that, that things are black and white, things are either alive or they're dead. And that's certainly the case with people and living things, depending on how you define dead and alive. But genres are, are not people. And I firmly believe that musical ideas do not die, never ever. Never, ever, 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 especially in this day and age. And not to say things don't change, they do. I'm just saying that life, especially in the case of art, is one never-ending grayscale. Musical ideas do a lot of things. They grow and, and fade in popularity. They get hijacked by other genres or, or recycled. Some evolve and start incorporating other ideas. And sometimes they, they lie dormant and make a resurgence, a comeback. But music does not just die, though sometimes it may seem that way if you look at it from a bird's eye view, not really reading into the details, especially if you kind of always tag the death of a genre with the death of a culture. Disco records do not top the charts anymore, but the fact that the fashion and the lingo that also surrounded that style of music have been kind of phased out too is, for a lot of people, further proof that the nails are in the coffin. But when you look at some elements of, of disco, key elements of disco music, you gotta kinda wonder, did the genre ever really die? You got guitars with very briskly strummed, funky chords, tight bass lines with loads of octaves, syncopated with the drums, which are usually kinda thrown out a four to the floor beat, bright horn sections, lead vocals that soar and are soaked in reverb. All of these ideas are, are still in use in music today, and the thing is disco didn't even invent most of them. A lot of them were picked up from funk. And when disco was fading away, parts of it went to the more danceable acts to come out of post-punk music. Parts of it went on to influence new wave and a lot of pop that came out in the 80s. Even the lead single off of Lady Gaga's last LP had a huge disco influence on it. There were some artists that kind of sat between the fall of disco and the rise of, of synth pop music, and they sounded like it, like Blondie. And punk music, any genre that people perceive to be dead, is basically the same way. But what's funny today Today is that we've got the internet and its fragmented culture a little bit. People are, are able to sort of indulge in whatever they please. They don't need to rely on, on contemporary and, 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 and popular culture to be introduced to music. You've got people who say, you know what, screw new music. I'm going to listen to nothing but, but 80s pop or classical or bluegrass or Tuvan throat singing. Some people take it even further and say, you know what, I'm gonna start a Dixieland-style jazz band, or even a tribute band to my favorite group that broke up 30 years ago, or a tribute band to my favorite group that's still active today. And the thing is, today, nostalgic musicians are, are rewarded with, with fans and contracts and record sales. Look at artists like Ariel Pink, or Crystal Stilts, or Black Lips, or Christian Mistress. They're just a few, but there is a really healthy world of artists out there who rely heavily on nostalgia or old world musical ideas to kind of get by. Just because you're not running into a certain style of music every day, or as much as you used to, or ever, does not mean it's dead, because believe me, it's out there, somewhere.
living and breathing, influencing and affecting people, whether it's on record or at a live show. So that's it. I love you. I hope you have a good day. You're the best. Always question everything. Forever. Forever.